Hello and welcome everyone to the second video of 7 days 7 paintings challenge and today I am back with a landscape painting for beginners. You can start the painting on canvas or on paper with acrylics or oils whatever you want. So first of all here I am going with Prussian blue. I am painting on a paper. Uh, this is A4 size and that's why I am using a small brush. If you are painting on a large canvas you can use a large brush for this purpose. I am painting the upper part of my sky with one inch brush in Prussian blue. You can see I'm pushing the color into this paper because it's not uh, accepting the color very much. And right now I'm using alizarin crimson here. You can see uh, some Prussian blue color is uh, coming out of my brush and mixing into the alizarin crimson but this is not a problem for me because I'm painting in oils and I can correct these mistakes later on. Now you have to uh, go as light as you can towards the bottom of the sky and I'm adding white into it. You can see some mistakes have happened as I already said the Prussian blue and the alizarin crimson are mixed but I'm going to use these mistakes to my advantage and uh, I'm painting this uh, white color on top of and on the bottom of these mistakes and it will give it an appearance of the cloud. And the blending is uh, no doubt a hefty task but uh, you have to do it to make your sky look beautiful. And right now with a small amount of midnight black I am making this uh, maybe kind of land here where the light isn't falling very much. And this is exactly going to be the base of my grass. And uh, just uh, make sure the upper part of this black uh, piece of land is a little lighter than the lower part and right now we are into the process of adding clouds when you are all done with it you have to add clouds I'm using a small brush here and a small amount of titanium white as well just to paint the basic shape of the clouds and these clouds are uh, resting uh, very far behind this piece of land and then we take again some white color and put in the details. Here you can witness me adding subsequent amount of titanium white on the right side of the cloud because uh, I have uh, imagined my light source on the right side of the painting. And that's why the left side of the cloud isn't going to receive that good amount of um, titanium white. Now with a small amount of titanium uh, white on the back side of a small brush we are adding stars you can add as many as you like and uh, I just want a small amount of stars in my painting that's why I have just painted only a few and uh, with a large uh, brush one inch brush or uh, you can use the larger one as well I'm going to tap this sap green on the piece of land we just painted and then with Indian yellow I'm going to employ the same tapping technique and just cover this whole piece of land with this black and you can see the sap green we already applied is mixing with this Indian yellow and creating a really really beautiful effect. So here we are done with this and it will take only a few seconds to complete this and when you are done with making the grass the final thing that you are going to do is to paint some beautiful trees and with a small brush again I'm employing midnight black and just painting the basic shape of a tree first and make sure you paint your trees and this painting exactly has a kind of gothic look and that's why you have to paint trees which have sort of gothic look as well and uh, this can be achieved this effect can be achieved by making those uh, nodes and twisted branches and add as many branches as you like and this is the largest tree now painting and in a similar way identically we are going to paint other trees as well but I'm just going to keep these two uh, trees smaller in size and this is uh, how you can complete your trees 
the final thing in this painting is adding some shades uh, not shades but highlights and with a liner brush and small amount of titanium white on our brush we are just adding these highlights on our trees because as i already said the light source is on the right side of the painting that's why all the right side of the trees are going to be a little brighter than the left sides and this is how you can complete your painting and finally uh, here I have decided to add a little path that's why uh, I'm just here going on with this white and alizarin crimson and my path is complete and my painting is ready and uh, please like comment share and subscribe please tell me in the comment sections uh, if you like the video and the five more videos are coming and this is the final picture thank you